scores and the shape of the league table and the fact is Carlin Atta two points clear of that relegation zone and uh, considering the position the club was in when you arrived Keith you must be happy with how things have gone yeah I'm not, I'm not going to uh, uh, I'm going to say make it uh, or turn away from the fact that I, uh, that I am pleased because uh, people are buying into uh, what we're trying to bring to the football club you must be Delighted though with how, how quickly things have started to go right. I know that it could be a marathon over the season, but you must be happy with how quickly things have been taken on board and have changed. Yeah, definitely. I think um, part of the interview process when I when I spoke to uh, when I spoke to the owners, the the, the board of directors, uh, and the chairman, I, uh, I told them that I'm a leader. Uh, as a as a player, I was a leader. Uh, as a coach, uh, and a focal point under uh, under Neil Warnock, and then when I meet me uh, my own opportunity. Uh, at Knox Sky, uh, I did say that, that I'm a leader. Uh, to be a leader doesn't mean that you just go out in front and expect people to follow you. What you need to do is you need to set the foundations in place, make people understand where you want them to go, why they, why they want to go there, and, and also explain to them the rewards that are there. Now, I think people are starting to come on board and starting to believe that we're going in the right direction. We're taking small steps, but it's steps in the right direction. I was watching with great interest the press conference downstairs before you, you came on to talk to us here on BBC Radio Cymru Sport, Keith, and you talked about simplicity. How has simplicity made things work in these early stages for you? I think whenever, you're, when you're, whenever you're dealing with players, uh, the tendency is to, to try and reinvent the wheel uh, and, and, as a coach. And sometimes you need to go back to basics because I think that's what the players needed. Uh, they didn't need to be playing in holes, playing in between the lines. You, know, you can have a look at a lot of f football punditry nowadays, and the people are talking about people that play in between, uh, play in holes, playing between the lines, and then you end up getting players that want to play in holes and in between lines. Now, unfortunately, the position that we were in, we needed people to play their position, understand what the minimum requirement was of their position, and then go and play. How does it make you and, and your players feel when you look around Brunton Park? I mean, we were just looking out the press box at some of the players at half-time and full-time and just smiles on people's faces. People look like they're enjoying being at Brunton Park again. What does it make you feel like? How much does it inspire you to see that and know that you've played a part in it? I, I think um, people are starting to get on board. Uh, people are still there. I went for a walk. Uh, I went for a coffee with, uh, with Westy the other day. We walked around the town and people are, are starting to recognise us. I think because Westy had his, uh, his track suit on still because uh, again uh, his, his casual gear is not the best um, uh, and he's happy to walk around with the club gear on so uh, no, but people are starting to say um, no, no, looking forward to the game so people are, there's, there's an interest being created but also then people that, that are coming they're being rewarded by seeing a level of commitment, application, desire and, and quality uh, that's coming uh, that's being delivered by the players.